Greetings, my fellow YouTubers. The Practitioner here. I'm about to show you something that I've been working on for the past little while and I thought you might find interesting. This is done by the British Science Museum. It's called Think You're Smart, Try, uh, Test Your Inner Savant. Now, being autistic, they say that, uh, anyway, let me read you the, exper uh, the experiment here and uh, so this way hopefully you can read it. It goes, test your inner savant. How fast can you count to 10? What about 50? 150? Some people with savant syndrome can count huge numbers of objects in a split second. Of an, um, in a split second. Want to try? Click to start. Australian scientist Alan Schneider says he's uh, given ordinary people a taste of savant skills. He zapped their brains with a magnetic pulse to see if, they, if it made them better at number guess a uh, number guessing test click to try Snyder's test all right so let's give this a shot in this test between 50 and 150 dots will flash on the screen for less than two seconds you'll have five guesses at guessing the correct number don't worry if you're way, if you're way off your brain isn't built to work this it really isn't built to work this way click to start okay so here we go three Two, one. Okay, I'm going to guess that to be 84. Okay, 72 or 73? I'm going to go with 72. Okay, that's about 104, I think. 127, I'm pretty sure, to 7, and number 5, uh, I'd call that about 63. Now, make that 62, just to be on the safe side. Alright, let's see how I did. First, I guessed 84, the correct number was 74. Second, guess 72, second number 65. Third was 104, 88, 127, 119, 62, and the correct number was 63. Click to find out how I compare to people in Sydney and Snyder's actual experiment. Well, apparently, let's go through this. Well done. You got one of the you got one guess within five of the right number. You did better than the people in Snyder's experiment before they had their brains zapped with a magnetic pulse. Snyder's volunteers became twice as good at this test after he zapped their brains. Find out more in the exhibition around you. Let's try this test again to see if I can do any better. So we've got uh, this again. It's the exact same. Uh, click to start. Let's. Uh, this is a repeatability issue, by the way. By doing this, we can see if I can replicate the result or even do better. Click to try Snyder's test. Don't worry, your brain isn't uh, okay. So same thing again. Click to start. And here we go. In three, two, one. Start guessing. Okay, I'm going to say that's 128 to 8. That one is 112, I'm pretty sure. Okay, that I'm going to say is 98. That one's closer to 114. Actually, make that 121, just to be on the safe side. And that one is about 68, I'm pretty sure. Eight, let's take a look. 128, the correct number is 112. I guessed 112, correct number 104. I guessed 98, correct number 96. I guessed 121, correct number 110. And I guessed 68, the correct number was 73. Well, let's see how I did on this experiment. I know that I got one. Did I get two or more? Congratulations, you got two guesses within the five of the right number. Uh, look, you, um, as, it, as it reads here, I'll zoom in for you guys to see. Congratulations, you got two guesses within five of the right number. You did better than the people in Snyder's experiment who had their brains zapped with a magnetic pulse. Looks like you're a crafty counter. Now, 
What's interesting about this experiment, sorry, I'm zoomed in a little too far there. What's interesting about this experiment is that this is a test of what is known as savant syndrome. Basically, a classic test to see whether autistics and other, whether or not people have the natural traits of a autistic or other person who is like an idiot savant. Dr. Alan Schneider, um, if you look him up online, you'll find that he is actually one of the foremost authorities um, worldwide of researching how the brain does savant um, type tasks and actually attempting to replicate this in regular people. Uh, you can find him on Wikipedia and tons of other places, but, and all of his research has been peer reviewed. What does this say about me, though, about the fact that without any sort of add-ons whatsoever, i.e. I didn't have my brain zapped, but I was still able to conduct this experiment, um, in, in other words, uh, what did this do for me? Well, I'm the, uh, this basically appears to suggest that having Asperger's syndrome, um, a form of high-functioning autism, I may not just be a standard autistic, but a high-functioning autistic savant. I, saw, I thought I would post this to see what po people thought. I'm also posting the link below. Uh, I'd like you to attempt this, uh, just to make sure this experiment is properly valid, however, I'm posting the uh, same test below, the link in the video description, and I would like you, my viewers, uh, my fellow viewers, to try this experiment at the link yourself, and then uh, post your responses. Uh, if you got um, one or more, um, you know, right within the f within five, uh, plus minus a five, an error bar of five, let me know. Uh, let me know your experiences of how this works. Um, they say that approximately autistic savants are only about 1% of the population, and uh, yeah, so I expect that roughly, assuming the sample size is uh, actually random and accurate, only about 1% of you should be able to do well on this. However, if this test is not valid, then a great number of you should also be doing this. Of course, mind you, I know that a large chunk of my subscribers are highly intelligent people. So it'd be interesting to see how you do on this particular experiment. Um, yeah, let me know how it goes. Uh, you know, like I said, take a uh, try again for yourself, give me your experiences, and see how you do on the test. Catch you on the flip side.